My role is to talk a lot. I'm the middleman for people developing property. We hold their hands, we guide them, we talk to them, we talk to the people that are involved, such as the actual contractors, we speak to the architects, we speak to the engineers, anybody that has anything to do with this property. I bind them all together because I'm the only one that each one of them have to get to. We're going to be expediting this job and I guess you're going to be taking the seller on the first floor? We are. Okay. My typical, my, I don't have a typical day. We're right before a major approval and I would get up really early, like at four o'clock and come here to the home office. I have a lot of emails written up. So when my secretaries come in, they're like, oh, everybody was early morning. Good morning. What's gonna be special today? Let's think about today. Good morning. I love you. Hey, you princess. Mommy, a fish is dead. Okay, so let's make sure to keep these two alive, okay? I walk out of here, say, by 8 o'clock to go put my children on the bus. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your trip. And then I just spend some time with the baby, which is only as of the last three months. She's three months old now. And then I would rush off to work, like, back in the office at 10. Go with the flow. You've got five kids to take care of, a husband, and you got... 15 associates that are waiting for you in the office, be all over at one time. Just do it, whatever it takes. If I get approved for mezzanines, is it counted as, as floors? One second. Number one. Number two, don't release anything from the file if it's original. This is for which one? This one. So give me a cover sheet for this. So what I love about this line of work is the fact that there are so many things happening at once. It's like a puzzle, and you have to make sure that you have all the pieces to the puzzle, because when you finish the puzzle and you're missing one piece, you're done. Meaning to say, if they have to just wait for you because you missed that one factor, the puzzle of the picture is not complete. They won't get their approvals, they won't get their permits, the construction can't start, they won't get their loan. These are your project cover sheets? If somebody calls and it's not on my calendar, they don't get to speak to me. And it seems like a punishment a little bit, like, who do you think you are? Just take the phone call. It's not, it's for their benefit because otherwise, being available for everybody at all times, it just backfires. Let's say I'm walking just to get myself lunch. I don't walk to get myself lunch, but suppose, and I was just taking this call and he says, okay, so you remember to put this in. I'm not gonna remember to put this in when I come into the office and everybody's like, honey, honey, honey. It's not gonna happen. So it's not even for their benefit. So they think, oh, I got you on your cell. You're not lucky, poor you. With that being said, Let's hear what we're doing, how you want to work it out in regards to that. All day, every day, the things I speak about most is how to get the clients to their end results the fastest way possible. But at 4.45, no matter what goes on at that time, I pick myself up from the chair and I leave. It's so important that when I'm running all this on this side of the end, the home front should be just as well taken care of. A mom is just a mom. But at 7 o'clock, my day starts. I have a calendar right back to the calendar as if it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I find that my clients actually like it that way. Because during the day, it's so busy. Everybody's busy. So if they get to speak...